Hi, this is Srinivas Tamara, founder of Nihilism.info. Today I'm going to continue my previous article. So a long time back I posted an article about how to implement native options in Ionic and Angular. So this post like you know uh, in Angular, Ionic 3 a lot of uh, new things came up and they updated a lot of uh, things. Uh, so this is like you know almost six months back. So this one I just uh, modified with a new uh, new Ionic and uh, Angular 4. I think if you see the uh, repository, uh, I updated all the files and uh, so this actually comes with the source maps and a lot of uh, things has been changed and this actually works with uh, Ionic Dev App as well. You can see the live uh, application immediately like in the phone. So that way you can, you no need to implement with uh, Xcode. So that helps. If you see the uh, package.json so updated a lot of things like all the things with the new new libraries so and i implemented i included a few more things like uh, try to update all this stuff because i i was 11 need a lot of camera permissions this actually adds some descriptions usually whenever you launch the camera it lasts the permissions you have to give uh, a okay so and so and i'm continue this and for this how you can store this information in your database whenever you take cam camera picture you have to store that in your database so let's continue uh, before that i'll try to download the ionic dev app so let me show you quickly to connect my phone yep if you see here uh, this is what my uh, uh, mobile screen and if you see here there is actually ionic dev app so let me launch my application let me keep this here and uh, in the code here so and the uh, and the terminal so i'm going to launch this application so i'm just launching here uh, this is what you will see uh, whenever you give ionic serve here you will find the application in this location like in the dev apps so once it got updated like in, after some time you will see an option here like with uh, it's it's loading with your network you have to use the same wi-fi yeah once it got uh, connected like you know uh, you will see the option here and just i'm just tapping on that so so now I can I can change the things here immediately like if I change something here like dev app and save you can see the changes immediately in the phone. So this is what the demo like you can take the pictures and use the picture and I can take the picture use the picture and I can delete it also. This is what we implemented and but now this article is like how you're going to connect with this your uh, API and then store this image in your database. So that is what we're going to do it right now. So now back to the code. Uh, yeah, now this project required an API connection and uh, and we need to create a provider and that provider actually communicate with the API. So if you see this article, like, you know, uh, if you search for PHP RESTful API with authentication and so if you search for a provider, you will find a small information about that and there is a RESTful uh, package also you will get. So I'm going to modify this existing package and uh, there is a small command is available. Try to execute this uh, this way, like I'm just opening the code and then if you see here um, and if you execute this, uh, it'll automatically create a small provider and now actually uh, Ionic has, has updated a lot of things and no need to include anything in the app module it automatically includes everything so let's come this comes with some default code and uh, if you see this article I just uh, provided a small code and uh, you can use this uh, and just simply copy this code and uh, this is like you know I uh, created a I think if you see my previous articles or videos you will understand so this is what your uh, uh, API so 
I'm just giving local host. So copy this uh, project uh, inside your HD docs when you download the XAMPP for PHP. So I, I copied here, this is what my API. So that's why my URL is like this, so localhost and PHP, my project name and then API. So this is a small uh, promise for authentication service. Uh, I think uh, so the name is a little different with that. So I'm just changing that, uh, yeah. So this is small function and the small uh, function, I'm just changing the, uh, what is the API name, I'll pass it here. So just go back here and try to import that uh, um, auth provider from the providers. So, and then auth service slash, yep. So this is done. Yeah, we imported that and this one I'm going to import inside the constructor because I'm going to use it. So this is something like I'll give some auth service. I'm just renaming it. I mean, just assigning object. So everything is same and this is the take photo. And once you take the photo, you will get everything in a base 64, uh, like, you know, image format. It's kind of a binary uh, encrypted code. So this data, we are going to send it to the backend. So for that, I'm going to write a small uh, function called uh, send data. I mean like send image data. And inside that, I'm going to call this auth uh, like, you know, service. For that, like I have a, you know, the, this is a piece of code I'm using for everything. So I'm just copying this and pasting it here basically this is actually communicating we are not going to use anything here so this is what uh, this is actually sign up it's connecting but we are going to connect some user uh, image let's try to design this first uh, and once once it got connected it will insert into the database and it will give you some response back so i'm directly printing the result instead of the Yes, now I'm just saving this, oh, delete it. yeah. So, and here the image data comes, the binary data comes here. So we are going to call this function here with this uh, data. So so this is this dot this function. So here like, you know, image base 64 image. So this data, we are going to send it here, user data. But if you see the user data, we are sending like user ID token and uh, image ID I just created. So we need to set all these things there as well because this user ID token I explained, if you have an authentication, like when taking a picture, so you have to set it here. But right now I am actually setting like you know some default values uh, like this dot user dot user id because uh, just i'm giving some one and the token but all these things you have to set it after login you will get all the information some extra exact and then this dot user data dot so this is the adjacent object name. So there I'm just setting the new value. So this data I'm, I'm sending back to the user image. So this way like uh, we can communicate. So let's save it and I'm going back to the um, code called PHP Slim RESTful API. So just I'm going to modify there. If you see this, like I just created a small, uh, small uh, function. This function actually setting, like actually you have to check all the information, like, you know, uh, token, everything you have to check the token as well. This is system token and uh, you have to check system token. And uh, usually like this is what it should come. 
but right now I'm not checking with the tokens so equal to actual token so but right now I'm setting it as a one but you can change it later once you connected with the user so and if it is it is just checking this table and uh, inserting the base 64 code and based on the user ID and that's I'm just binding it once it got inserted I'm giving getting back the requests like you know status got updated if the token is something wrong uh, because this way you can prevent uh, the wrong access so I'm just giving no access so I'm just enabling the uh, feed URL like uh, this is what user image so this is a post method so this is like user images yep so now API is ready and uh, let's go to the code I'm going to create uh, this with uh, let me see my config yeah I connected everything is fine so I need to create a uh, table inside this database so I'm going to my local host this is what my project let's see because if you see my previous article and you will understand why I created all these things this is what user ID and here uh, with the user ID you can connect so so I'm just giving image ID and int primary key auto increment and b64 here is the image data it will store so I'm giving as a text and the user ID and fk this is a foreign key it uh, link with this table so all the user IDs will store here so I'm just executing it here so this is what my table and uh, see the structure so whenever user types it it will give it will come here so right now by default I'm setting as a one in the angular code so everything is mapping to the user one so let's see and uh, look at the core go back to the angular code now so this is what the code and so I'm setting as a user one and token is something XYZ basically you have to send the real one so yeah almost done let's see and test the code and inside the mobile yeah looks good uh, let me connect my mobile and we'll test it and uh, see the database its images are storing or not and before that we forgot to include one important thing so we implemented a, a auth service here so and here we are using http method so and we need to include that here so in the main module so import so these are the most common things so and that's called uh, it's called http module from angular http and so this one you have to import it here So now uh, let me run it again because I'm finding some issues here. Let's see. Yeah, now working good. Yeah, let's quickly connect to my device and I'll show you that how the data is storing into the database. I just connected to my live uh, uh, hosting server. So because I'm testing with, uh, you know, Ionic Dev. So I just connected and let me screen recording yeah let me yeah now you can able to see my connection so so this is what my screen and the server is running yep no I think I need to run with it is like you know I Excel with C yeah console mode you can see the console as well here yeah now the server is running so let me launch the uh, ion dev app if you see this uh, now this is what my application so i'm accessing it right now so i'm taking some pictures let me take this So if you see this uh, table, uh, you will get this data. If I take one more picture,
and if you see this and you'll get this so yeah this way you can it, it is actually storing entire base64 code if you want you can compress it and you there are a lot of uh, settings here if you can change it you can add some more options like you can add some dimensions like width and height also you can fix it so that way the base64 going to be it'll reduced to like you know less data so this is actually taking so much of big resolution so yeah um this is what the post uh yeah this is what the video today like uh, maybe the next post i'll explain like how you can directly upload the file from the you know taking uh code over pictures like you know that actually a little different with i uh, ios and the android so i'm still researching on it once if i got the stable one i'll try to upload the video and thanks a lot